Hey guys, so sorry about the way this envelope looks. I really wasn't paying all that close attention when I opened it, so it's a little bit tore up. But I got this in the mail from the Capital Area Food Bank of Texas there in Austin. And it says, are you in need of food assistance? And I thought this had something to do with receiving something from the food bank or even donating to the food bank. When I opened up this letter, I found out this has to do with promoting SNAP benefits as food stamps through, through the Lone Star program. It says, Dear friend, over 3.5 million Texans benefit from the SNAP program. Do you? SNAP, food stamps, is a program that helps you buy healthy foods such as fruit, vegetables, meat, and more. The Capital Area Food Bank of Texas is committed to ensuring that people know about this great resource. Our outreach coordinators can help you learn if you might be eligible and can help you complete and submit an application for benefits. We can also help you when the time comes to renew your benefits. There's no charge for this service. Mm, creamy peanut buttery granola dipped in chocolatey deliciousness. So now there's plenty for them and me. Now I'm just going to tell you guys a story really quick. When I was growing up, I was the child of a single mom for a while. She worked multiple jobs, she went to school at night, and we were on food stamps for some of that time. And I remember going to the food stamp office. I remember the process of that. I remember how it felt to be there. There weren't just people dancing around the place in their party suits talking about, yay, I got food stamps, can't wait for the free food. Nobody was like that, okay? This was completely a stigmatized thing. You held your head in shame when you were there. The people that worked there treated you like dirt for being there. It was a very shaming process to go through, to come in there and have to sit in those little booths and give them all your information. And they basically looked at you as poor, destitute loser that would even have to come into that office. There was nothing about going through that that was even remotely something that you would want to just continue to do for the free food. It almost wasn't worth it. As much dignity as you had to lose to go through it. I mean, I remember my mom crying at the fact that we had to go there. It was not something that people celebrated. Nobody who was there looked happy to be there. Everyone who was there looked like they were having their soul ripped out through their nose to have to be there. It was awful, okay? And I remember it. I remember going multiple times and I remember how that felt because we were on it for several years. So fast forward to today when we have the largest number of people on food stamps. One in seven Americans, one in seven, now qualifies for food stamps. In so that's one in seven people. One in seven people. I had to repeat that. They depend on the federal program to buy groceries. And as the jobless rate continues to teeter above 9%, the number of food stamp recipients has risen a whopping 70% in just four years. See, and I'm not saying they need to stigmatize everyone just for being on food stamps. People have a hard enough time. I mean, it's bad enough going to the DMV in this country and being treated like crap. So, you know, but at the same time, it's not, it's the complete opposite. Like the whole thing has completely flipped and they're promoting getting everybody onto this program. But it's gone so far that they have promoted it specifically to the Latino community, Spanish speaking, recent immigrants, and also to what they called the mountain pride, which was kind of inner middle America. They try to appeal to people to come get on food stamps, not just that it's available if you need it and you can go take care of things. Like they were inviting people in the doors. I mean, they're even playing commercials on the radio what was that one commercial? It was like, Flo, you look good, honey. Yeah, I know, I'm on the food stamps or whatever the hell. That's where food stamp benefits come in. They help me eat right when money's tight. Would you look at Margie? She looks amazing. I wonder how she stays so fit. What's her secret? Well, she told me that food stamp benefits help her eat right and she stays active too. Oh, I didn't know they helped people our age. Oh, food stamps help lots of people people you know. <laughs> Wait, you use it too? Yes, I do. Today, when we have the largest number of people on food stamps on record in the entire history of the food stamp program, we have 47 million Americans on food stamps. And they're going door to door in low income areas and trying to get more people on food stamps. And they're sending out letters like this. 
Why are they doing this? Overwhelm the system and bring about the fall of capitalism by overloading the government bureaucracy with impossible demands and bring on economic collapse. Cloward and Piven. The total recipients on welfare rocketed from 4.3 million people to 10.8 million. They're doing it because it's an oligarchical collectivist system. A lot of people don't realize the biggest lobbyist for food stamps is not poor people, it's not representatives of poor people, it's not organizations trying to help out the lower classes. It is banks, big Wall Street banks, it's Walmart, and it's the big food corporations who all make tons of money off of a captured, guaranteed market of people who are spending money in their stores or on their grocery products or using the EBT cards that they service and get surcharges and fees off of. They want as many people in the country as possible on this system. The government will know what they're purchasing, how much they're spending, and everybody in the system gets a cut the bigger that system becomes. It's a facilitation fee. And the more people you get in the net, the more they can split it up against the big top-down corporate beneficiaries. There's nothing better than a captured market if you can get it. If you're in the food business and you could provide food to all the schools across the country, you would jump on it right away. doesn't matter what the reputation is for school food if anybody likes it. That's a guaranteed tens of millions of people who are going to be using your services. They're just trying to promote people being on the dole. They want as many people subservient to the government as possible, reliant on the government as possible. I mean, we already live in a country where only 2% of everyone grows the food for the other 98%. Everyone's already highly relying on a very small number of people, but now they want everybody to rely on the government for food. This is insane that we've gotten to this level where they're promoting food stamps to this degree. That you don't even have to go through that shaming process. There, there is no shaming process. It's great. Did you know 3.5 million people have food stamps in Texas? Hell, why aren't you on it? Everyone should be on it. It's wonderful. We should all have food stamps. We should all have our very own outreach coordinator. I mean, what's going to happen next? Are they going to hire the person who comes over to call the outreach coordinator for you, the outreach coordinator coordinator that comes to your house to coordinate you coordinating with the outreach coordinator? I mean, this is ridiculous that we've gotten to this level in this country. To me, getting this letter in the mail is like, hello, hey, here's your mail for the day. And oh, by the way, here's just one more reminder of the complete decline of America.